In this series, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do quality nails using the Kiss Nail Kit that you can get from your local stores. Let's get to it. So this is the Kiss Dip Powder Nail Kit that I got from my local Walgreens. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. I love how the packaging says new, but I didn't try this over two years and the packages still say new, so. <laughs> All right, so this is everything that comes with this kit. We even got the tag to make sure you don't steal it. <laughs> I didn't use this kit like three or four times, I think, I don't know. But if this is your first time, you wanna make sure you read the instructions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my nails and I'm just gonna push back my cuticles and take the shine off my nails. I don't have to do too much prepping because I've already taken off my nails and it ain't really much to prep. All right, so next I'm just gonna take the softer side of this buffer and buff the shine away from my nails. And be gentle with this because it don't take much. And this is optional, but I like to just kind of shape my natural nails to make sure that they just look neat and not jagged. <laughs> All right, so next we are going to glue on our nail tips. These are the tips that come with the kit. You get white and natural. So today we're gonna use the natural. I gave white a chance in my last Kiss Kit video and uh, it wasn't too bad, but I prefer natural. All right, so let's go ahead and pick out our sizes. One thing I wish that they would update about these nail tips is that they are so curvy. Like I wish that they would just put some straighter nail tips in the kit. <laughs> because these bad boys curve, okay? Like, look at that. All right, so I got all of my sizes picked out and now we're just gonna glue on the nail tips using the brush on nail glue that comes with the kit. These nail tips do not fit my nails all that well. They are kind of wide, just to make sure, like squeeze it on the sides, um, just to make sure everything is glued down. All right, so the nail tips are on, but this shape is not where it's at, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna take my nail clipper and we're gonna trim these and try to make a shape out of this. So we're just gonna take the sides down first you know, aiming for some type of tapered coffin or something, I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna take this hand file and shape them. All right, so honestly, you probably could shape them with this hand file, but it's taking a while. It's taking a really long time. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use my square file and we're gonna get this done faster. Shaping is what takes like subpar products and kind of make them look high quality because if your shape is on point, then the nails are gonna look like really good. I take a lot of time shaping. All right, I'm liking how that is looking. So I'm just gonna do this with all of the nails. All right, so we got the nails filed, shaped, and buffed, and now it's time to go in with the dip powder. All right, so they want us to go ahead and pour the powder into this jar. Okay, right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour. So like I was saying, the nail tips didn't really fit me well. All the other nails except for the pinky was all right, but as y'all can see, like, we got some craziness going on here with this pinky. But basically what I do is start in the center and then I work my way back, slowly building up the nail. The instructions say to just put it on the entire nail and you may not wanna do that, especially if you have long nails like me. Um, if your nails are shorter, then you can get away with just doing that. But if your nails are long, then you don't want your nails to be flat. You want them to have a nice 
shape to them. So this is why I do it this way. So I start in the center here. And then we're just gonna dip this in. And I like to hold it into the powder for about maybe five seconds or so. And then gently tap off the excess. And I wait about 10 or 15 seconds before I brush off the powder. So they give you this little sponge to dap off the excess powder. I go ahead and brush off the excess. So then I just go up a little further from where that area was. And then I do the sides as well. And then we go ahead and dip. and dab off the excess. My tip is to make sure you wait about 10 seconds before you use the sponge. Otherwise, you'll smear the glue and you'll have like streaks in your nails and we don't want that. And I'm just gonna keep it working my way back until the entire nail is covered. So as y'all can see, it is starting to fill in that dip. And as I continue to build the nail up, it should look better. This time, I'm gonna dip it in upside down. And that was just to make sure that I have even coverage. My nails are a tad bit long, so we don't want any dips or anything like that. When you get close to the cuticle, <laughs> what I do is I hold my breath. No. Not really. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you do not touch your skin. Because wherever you put this glue, that is where the powder is going to stick to. I think I'm going to just dip like this. I have enough room. And I am always like impressed at how effective this sponge is. Whew. I'm always relieved when there is no powder on my skin. <laughs> All right, so this is one nail down. So I'm just gonna continue to do this for all of the nails. Ah, I love it when the cuticles are just perfect. <laughs> all right, so we got the nails all dipped. This is how they're looking. Not too bad. Okay, so after you let the nails kind of dry a little bit, I don't know the exact time, you know, you can read instructions for that, but what they say in here anyway? Uh, okay, it don't even say like how long to wait. So <laughs> I wait about, I don't know, two minutes or so for everything to feel like it's dry. And then you go in with the activator. Um, I don't recall it being this yellow last time I used it, but formulations change, I guess. So the activator, you wanna make sure to apply to the entire nail and saturate all over the nail. This makes sure that the nail glue is totally dry, so when you get to filing and shaping, you shouldn't run into any gummy parts. And don't forget the tip. And don't forget the edge of the nail. You wanna make sure everything has activator on it. This stuff has a very strong smell. Very strong. Okay, I gotta hurry up. This stuff stank. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let this dry for about two minutes or so. All right, so everything feels dry. So we're gonna go ahead and do our filing and shaping. Um, now because I did most of the shaping with my other nail file, I can go ahead and use this one to smooth everything out. I, I mean, th this isn't bad if you are working on your natural nails, but for long nails, you really do need like, a regular nail file, a full size nail file. Because like I said, shaping has to be on point, okay? 
But the thing about dip powder nails is that it is really easy to file. You don't have to, you know, really go that hard with the filing. You can easily over file, so don't do that. Okay, on the sides, I think I am running into a little goopy spot. So we're gonna go ahead and put some more activator right there. This tends to happen when the nails are, you know, a tad bit thicker, I guess. So yeah, we just gonna let this sit. And I'm gonna move on to the next nail. I try not to make these super thick, so hopefully I won't run into any more gummy spots. All right, so I have filed and shaped the nails and you can go ahead and use the buffer. Um, this buffer is pretty good. So go ahead and buff the nails, make them nice and smooth. Ooh, filing always makes me break a sweat. So we're gonna dab, <laughs> dab my face off real quick. Better. <laughs> All right, so after you file, shape, and buff, you are to put more activator on your nails. I don't know how I feel about this because this activator has like a flame and like an exclamation mark. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this stuff must be cancerous or something. But they want you to put more on. We just make sure that all of the nail is hardened properly. Okay, so at this point, you can go ahead and put your polish or gel polish or whatever you wanna do on here. I'm gonna do some gel polish. First things first, I need to start off with a base coat. are looking cute so far all right so I think I'm gonna keep them a little like minimalist I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use but I have these two like toppers here and hmm, I think I'm gonna go with this one oh, yeah. that is gorgeous <laughs> This is, this is given what it's supposed to be given, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure these. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with these gorgeous Sailor Moon stickers. I've been dying to use these. <laughs> but first I need to wipe off the tacky layer. I just wanna make sure the stickers are gonna be able to stick to the nail. I think I'm gonna put it like right here. These stickers are really thin. Yay. I can't decide if I want the big Sailor Moon or the little Sailor Moon. What y'all think? Should I go big or should I go like right dainty? Like, I think we're gonna go with the smaller one. I think I'm gonna put it right here. And next, I'm gonna do some bling, of course. Right, and then apply my bling gel. So now I can put some cuticle oil on because with dip nails, you look so ashy until you're done. <laughs> I 
All right, so here is the finished look. Ooh, these turned out so cute. Oh my God, I can't even tell that these are dip powder nails. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, check out another Kiss Kit video over here. Or if you want to watch something else, check out this video. <laughs> and I will talk to y'all later. Peace.